Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Andy and in this short video I'll explain how I set up lighting in this scene in Blender. And uh, so here is the overall view of my scene. So let's start from the very beginning and I'm gonna turn off all light sources in this scene and I'm gonna show you one by one what's going on there. I'm gonna turn off these parts and also have reference on the background, let's turn it off. So, here's a scene with light without any light sources and uh, let me turn on this one and where is it? Here it is. It's located right above the bottle, as you can see here. And one important part is that I have some sort of diffusion about the bottle. Uh, that's because let me switch to camera view and switch to render it mode. So here we are and uh, let me zoom in slightly so you'll see what's going on better here. Uh, this diffusion panel about the bottle has semi-translucent material which allows light to pass through it. And what it gives us, first of all, let me turn it off for example. And you see that highlights on the top part of the bottle is kind of really harsh with hard edges. And uh, as this bottle is highly reflective, you see that it's not really pleasant highlights. And as soon as I turn it on, you see that those highlights become much smoother and we have some sort of uh, small gradients on the neck and also on the top part of the bottle as well. So for me, you can, by the way, adjust, of course, the size of the diffusion panel easily. You can make it bigger, for example, whatever. If you want to cover a larger area on the bottle, you can tweak the size of this, of this modifier, of course, as we work in 3D and everything is possible. So let me turn on the next light source. Uh, this is the kind of I would call it small softbox as if I work in a studio I probably would use uh, some sort of maybe snoot or, or barn doors, I don't know. But in 3D this is just a small area light. By the way, all the lights I use in this scene uh, they are just simple area lights, standard area lights. I just tweaked uh, size of each light source of course but nothing fancy there. So let me delete it. So the main goal of this small light source is to is to bring some highlights on the on the cap, as you can see here. Let me turn off. Here is the dotted light source, and with it, there's kind of really subtle touch for the cap, and also there's additional highlight on the on the left part of the bottle and kind of bright spot on the left as well. The next light source is positioned uh, in front of the bottle and on the left as you can see here. So this light source and uh, let me turn on this custom diffusion material. So this diffusion panel also has some sort of semi-translucent material which allows uh, the light pass through it. As I said before, as it works basically as this one, but it's just much larger. And uh, this light source is positioned in an interesting way. As you can see, this edge is closer to the diffusion panel than that one. So that's why I got some sort of gradient on the left part of the bottle. Let me show you how it works again. As you can see with this light modifier around the bottle, I got nice gradient and closer to the edge, the light intensity is really high and then it gradually falls off left to right. And without it, I would have just hard straight highlight without any gradients. 
and that's not that's not what I wanted that's why I created this huge light modifier in front of bottle basically it covers uh, the the bottle around so let me turn on the next light source it works similar as previous one as you can see here let me zoom in but the light pattern is kind of the lighting on the right side is more flattened compared to the left side as you can see there is no hard gradient on the right side and that's because I put this light source slightly at the distance before the before this diffusion panel as you can see here this one the previous light source is really close to this uh, diffusion panel and this one there's a distance between area light be between that light source and diffusion panel as you can see here let me switch to the top view you will see it better so here's uh, here's the diffusion panel and this is the light source and this is the previous one I hope that makes sense because the distance uh, between the diffusion panel and light source is increased I have a kind of smoother pattern light pattern on this right side of the bottle let's turn on the next light source and this is I guess it's somewhere on the right yes you see this highlight closer to the edge Here's the other light source and that light source being turned on and it's located right right here here it is yeah as I can see yeah so let me turn on the next one by the way this one is much a larger light source as you can see here so let's get back to camera view So I just kind of wanted to I wanted to feel this left side on the on the of the bottle closer to the edge. Let me turn on the next light source and here is some sort of rim light for the right edge of the bottle. As you can see it's really it's really a narrow light source as you can see. Here's without it and with it and it positioned uh, I guess somewhere behind the the bottle let me switch to the to this mode to better see what's going on yeah here it is as you can see it's really narrow area light right behind the bottle let me zoom in and this is how it positioned let me show you the overall setup again this is camera by the way and also one more light source uh, for the background as you can see here this is the spotlight to to create some sort of separation for the bottle let me get back to render it mode and to the camera view here it is let me turn off the spot the background light again at first look it doesn't make much sense but just subtle touch of the of this light source makes the overall image much better so that's that's pretty much it I guess if you have any light sources about I'm sorry if you have any questions about this lighting setup just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel to see new videos about photography CGI and video production See you soon.